Vortex Companies is located in Salina, Kansas. We have 420 employees. Uh, we custom fabricate um, steel manufactured product and we also build uh, dry bulk handling equipment. So we were having labor shortage in welders. When we looked at robots, uh, we could not uh, employ enough welders in this area. There's a labor shortage for welders in central Kansas. Um, so the impact that we've had with high robotics since we brought it into uh, Vortex Companies, um, we have been able to take hundreds more parts and put them on the robots uh, in a much quicker time frame than we were with our previous robots. We have had less overtime hours in our hand welding area because we have taken enough product um, from that area to make an impact um, by putting it on the high robotic and um, um, increasing our profits just by cutting out on overtime. Right now at Spectrum Metalcraft, our cobots are handling anything and everything. If we see a work order with a quantity of 10 or more, I'll reach out and ask how many we're looking at building for this year or have traditionally built for our customers in the past. If that quantity is high enough, I will kick that part number off to our engineering team. They can build us a great fixture. If not, then I'm gonna build a quick and dirty fixture and we're gonna be up and running by the end of the day usually. At Vortex Dry Bulk Solids, we are still dipping our toes into automation. We have one part family on it now that are high quantities. The newest part family we're adding to it, the weld time was an hour to do it by hand. We've got it down to 12 minutes. Traditionally speaking, what I've personally noticed, any part that we put on the cobot, if the hand weld time is around 25 minutes, it's going to take us about five minutes. If it's a five minute part, it takes us 37 seconds. If it's a three hour part, it'll take us about 20 minutes. Uh, the training was extremely simple, very easy, um, easy to learn, really fun actually, I had a good time learning it. Um, very self-explanatory, um, take it step by step, it's, it's break it down within two to three weeks. The parts that we deal with, um, they're usually monotonous to some people. Uh, especially in large quantities like that. So they are diverted to us because we can get them done quickly and um, they are programmed easily on there. Uh, and it just takes the extra weight off of the regular manual welders. Um, it's, it's really just a processing thing that we found helps with the flow of, of lower hours and, and uh, more manpower devoted to larger projects. When I started for Spectrum Metalcraft, I started as a welder. And during that time, it was mandatory 55 hours a week indefinitely. Uh, when we got the Cobot, that changed slowly but surely. I watched those 55 hours go to 50, down to 45. Now we're at 40. Hey, if you want to come in and work overtime because you want it, you got it. But you're not required to anymore. Nobody's lost their job because of it. And in fact, we've created three positions since then. So if you have any part that you're probably planning on building more than a hundred of in a year, I would strongly recommend putting it on a robot. The reason being is we're all human and it's very easy to weld something in the wrong spot. So if you have, if you're going to get into robotics, you're going to have a fixture and through fixturing, you can minimize error big time. So if you're a company that has parts that you're going to be building repetitively, you definitely put it on a robot.